Hey everybody, we are going on a great adventure today. I don't know how today is going to turn out. There's rumors of a pretty interesting car that we are going to see and potentially get for restoration in the shop. Not sure how it's going to turn out, but this is where our day is starting. Out in the cornfields in Nebraska, looking for old Corvettes. Stay tuned, and I hope this uh, day works out like I expect it to. Keep your fingers crossed, and stay tuned. We are out in the middle of Nebraska, and we are very excited today to be bringing a 1953 Corvette out of the barn. It is a freezing cold February day. And literally, this barn you can see is falling over. And it, I don't know how many more days or how many strong winds this barn has, but today this Corvette is coming out and going into the trailer and beginning the next chapter of its life, coming back to life with a restoration. This car is believed to have been the General LeMay car that was raced at SAC and air bases around the Midwest in the 50s and 60s. And this car has an incredible history behind it that the owner has shared with us in his research from the last 50 plus years of ownership. And I am super excited to say that we are going to be part of bringing this car back to life from this barn it's been sitting in since the late 60s or early 70s. It's a, uh, it's a rare honor to be involved in a project of this magnitude, but... Here it is, and, and I can't believe that another 53 Corvette has been found. There's a great story to tell behind this car and a lot of history and where it was used, how it was uh, acquired by General LeMay for use in racing. Um, what it's used prior to LeMay when General Motors used it uh, as one of their test cars for paint and body impact. Here we have the engine for the car and scattered throughout this barn are other pieces and components to put it all back together. And you can see even down to the to the lamp and the seed fax, seed sacks that are stored. Um, here it is. So excited to to be here today. It's really happening. The car is almost in the trailer. The rear axle uh, brakes were completely locked up, so. As usual, it didn't roll right in. It wasn't easy, but we got the winch going and she is in the trailer. We've got a great amount of parts to pull out of different uh, garages, but we're one step closer. She's in the trailer going to a, a good place for a great restoration. Well, that's the barn. And thank goodness the barn didn't fall over before we got the car out. Our day continues. We're gonna go to another storage garage and get some more parts. But for right now, this 53 Corvette is starting a new chapter of its life. It's been in this barn since the early 70s and now it's coming to my shop and we're gonna bring it back to life. So the story continues. Out in the cornfields in Nebraska, 
We rescued an old Corvette today, 1953. It's very exciting to have it in this trailer. You can expect to see a uh, tremendous amount of historical videos that I'm going to put together as we begin the preservation and restoration of this old Corvette. And uh, today was day one, a long journey, but we started today and I'm excited to, to be a part of this. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. Ride a little bit. That'll make it go a little slower. Ride a little bit. There you go. The other right. There you go. She's coming home, boys. Well, hell, man. I don't think put them skates under. I'm trying to either way. It's just easier to move them. Because I only got two of them out. So the, the, the brakes are coming. They must have been froze backwards, or they just, by yeah. pulling it backwards. Well, Cody said the brakes were going to come in. Hey, don't be listening to me, man. <laughs> Yeah, we can air them up a little more to get to roll a little bit better.